Welcome back. Still here at the 14th Annual Gulf Coast Home and Garden Expo. Here now with old friend Pat Boykin, owner of Russo's uh, air, air Conditioning. Uh, got some good news this week that, uh, and it's not that it happened this week, but I just found out that uh, our old friend Robert Wilkos is now working with you, Pat. Um, Robert, longtime air conditioning guy, good guy all around. That's got to be exciting having him on board. It is. Robert's been a fixture in the community and the industry for uh, over 30 years, and uh, we had the opportunity to bring him on board and help us guide the direction of our business, and so far it's worked out great. Um, I'm excited about the possibilities. Now, he was actually doing some consulting work with you to start with uh, before that, is that correct? Yeah, he was, and uh, the opportunity arrived where he wanted to spend more time at home right. and do less traveling, so he uh, worked out an agreement with us, and we brought him on full-time, and he's helping us lay the foundation for a successful, a successful next 30 years. Again, this year, Russo's being a very large corporate partner for this event. Um, you're one of the presenting sponsors. Mm -hmm. First of all, as a past uh, uh, member of the Board of Directors of the Red Cross, thank you for your participation. It's got to be a no-brainer. It's got to be great being out here with this many people, being able to demonstrate your products, being able to make the contacts, and then hopefully recycling those people back. Has this event, probably a silly question, but has this event been a good one for you? It has been. Ever since we've started doing this, um, we meet new customers. It's a great kickoff for our spring and summer season. But what I've noticed is every year we see more and more existing customers. So it's growing, it's working, and at the same time we get to spend a great deal of time with the Red Cross, help them get a kickstart on their fundraising, and it's a win-win it's a situation. We love it. Well, this event being one of the several that the Red Cross uses to fund all the good works they do in the course of the year, there's no bad side to being a part of this event, whether you're just paying five bucks to get in the door and, and uh, be an attendee, whether you're participating at the fiscal level that you are as a corporate sponsor, or anywhere in between. Um, certainly, all that money goes uh, for a very good cause. Red Cross is not top-heavy. They don't have a huge administration uh, uh, cost. Uh, all their money goes to the people that need it when their house burns down, when they're flooded, whatever those things happen to be. On that day, probably the most important people they can see in their life is the Red Cross. That's right. Um, I think it's, it goes unnoticed, the amount of work that they do, and I think it's a testament to their organization how much actually gets done at ground level. Um, the money that we raise here for them over the course of this weekend is very important to them, but it's also important to us knowing that it's doing good things in our community and uh, in, in other areas. They go to great lengths and send volunteers all over the country when the need arises, So, um, and that happens in reciprocal when we need it. So it's a great great organization, it's a great cause, and it's a great weekend for us here. Well, you mentioned the fact that they do send uh, people out of town, but, pri but primarily and uh, singularly, most of that money stays right here in the community as long as it's needed here. Not to say they won't send the IRVs and, and the crews to other parts of the country when they have disasters, but what's nice to know is when you contribute to the United Way or the Red Cross, that money stays right here in the community, first and foremost, so um, you're not giving to somebody that you, you may not care as much right. about as you do your next door neighbor whose house just burned down. That's right. It's not an anonymous uh, donation. It's, it's very local. It's very uh, important to the local community that you know, the Red Cross does has a, have a presence here, and uh, for the county surrounding us that they reach out to, for the people in Bay County that need it, it's, uh, it's vital. Well, uh, when we're producing this year's TV commercials for the event, we got excited when we saw that you were on board again as one of the corporate sponsors. So from us personally, thank you for that. I know the Red Cross has thanked you many times over, but uh, I'm sure that the community as a whole appreciates the way you're plugged in, the way you are a good community partner, not just here, but in many ways. So again, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for being part of the event. Thanks for taking the time to, uh, to speak with us. Thank you, Paul. We appreciate it. And we'll good to see you. you. Yeah, good to see you. We'll see you next year, I'm sure. Absolutely. Hopefully sooner. Uh, Robert, an old friend, now gives us an opportunity, besides knowing you to know him maybe stop by once in a while to yeah, say hello absolutely we look forward to it we're here at the bay county fairgrounds here for the 14th annual gulf coast home and garden expo and we'll be right back <laughs>